Hey girl, welcome to All Things Inspiring with Angel Shantae and welcome to another video. If you're new or a returner, welcome to it. So we're just going to go ahead and get straight into it. I will be listing all the products that I used in the description box below. If you're ready to go from this to this, then just keep watching. I'm starting off with a fresh face and I'm going in with the Glow Recipe in the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. For my eyebrows, I'm going to go in with this NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pencil. I got my eyebrows tinted just a few weeks ago. Well, really like last week, right? I think it's kind of fading away a little bit, but I do want to just give my brows a little definition. As you can see, my brows are already kind of thick, so I don't really need to do too much shading or adding. I just want to get a little effect and then one of my brows is longer than the other so I am about to get this together then I'm gonna go in with my benefit fluff brow wax because I kind of like how my brows look thicker so I'm gonna go in with this just to like shape them out And then I'm gonna follow it with the brow gel just to give it, you know, some little slick. My eyebrows are naturally, you know, thick. So I really don't have to do too much or like really fill them in. And plus, since this is going to just be like a simple, no makeup look, I want my natural brows to, you know, just be there. I don't want like any extra or anything. So I'm gonna let this dry. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with my concealer of the color of my shade and that is this Juvia's Place concealer. I absolutely adore Juvia's Place. The concealer, hold on, I'm going to do one side so you can see. I love this concealer because it is literally like full coverage as you can see like it's my skin color once i actually blend it in you will be able to see how it's really my skin color and then that's just all i'm gonna put and then i'm going to go in with the little bit of this laura mercier setting spray just to like let it set a little bit before i start blending in So since I have had my baby, I have had like a really hard time with, you know, like just pulling myself together just because I was so freaking tired, like from the breastfeeding and everything. So I am doing little stuff every day to get myself, you know, back into feeling like that girl again. I was just telling my best friend how, best friend, I like really fell off and I don't like that for myself because I was just so ambitious at a point in time and pregnancy and having a baby can like really make you lose yourself. I tend to do this makeup no makeup look when I am like going out you know running errands or anything of that nature just to look more like put together in a sense. And I felt like this has helped like me build like my confidence back up. Like when I have my makeup done, I literally feel my best self. I feel like that girl again. I feel like I feel put together. When I do little stuff every day, I know this may seem like girl, that ain't nothing. Like making up my bed, doing my makeup. 
I literally, I feel, I feel put together. I feel accomplished. So after I blend all that in, so then I go in and use this CoverGirl concealer just to lighten up my face just a little bit, literally just a little bit, because at the end of the day, you still want the makeup to look, you know, natural or whatever. So I just do a little bit right there. And then I do a little bit like under here. See how that kind of like lightens it up a little bit. And then I go in with this brush. Add that in there. I spray a little bit of this in there. I forgot to do that. So then I go in with this Fenty Beauty matchstick in the color Truffle just to like get some definition. Up here a little bit. So after I do that, I go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder Press, Press Powder, or whatever you wanna call it. Baby, I ain't gonna lie, I like this better than the translucent powders because I feel like those powders, it just be too, mm, it just be too much. All that excess powder and stuff, this is simple for me. Look, watch. You see how that like mattify everything? And learning how to do your makeup is really all about what you make it. It's a million beauty gurus. But this works for me, I'm not even gonna lie. I have invested a lot of money into my makeup just because, like I said, I wanted to get back into myself and like really learn how to do it because it's, sh I'm 25, I should know how to do my makeup, so. Okay, now I am going in with the Juvia's Place Liquid Blush. I love this liquid blush. My other favorite is the Rare Bru <laughs> Rare Beauty. Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez. I am just going in with this one because it was like more pinkish. Oh yeah, this is the liquid blush. And I like to put it. All you need is like two dots because it's so freaking pigmented. Look how pink, look how pigmented it is. And then I'm just gonna blend this out until I like what it's giving because as you can see, I look like Smiley. If you don't know who Smiley is, baby, that's Smiley the Clown, okay? Then I'm going to go in with the Juvia's Place Palette Blush. And then I'm gonna go in with this LA Colors eyelash primer. And I'm just going in with mascara. And then I'm going in with the Essence Lash Princess. This is the best mascara I have ever used in my life. I'm not lying. I've been using mascara since probably like maybe eighth or ninth grade, maybe. And this has been by far the best. I'm just about to show you. This has been the best mascara that I ever used on earth. 
I've used some good ones, but I feel like this has been the best one for me. That's what I'm gonna say. Like, look at that. And honestly, I didn't even need to put on the primer just because this gives that in the first place without the primer. Look at that. Mascara is too good. Like, look, <laughs> so cute. Then lastly, I'm going in for like the makeup portion and then I'm gonna do the lip combo. I'm going in with this Laura, can't even get it out. <laughs> this Laura Mercier setting um, spray. Now I'm going in with my Buxom lip pencil in the shade Creamy Chocolate. As you can see, baby, it is gone. It's not coming back up. I have used this to the last of the last. Then I go in with the Juvia's Place, it's like a lipstick. What is this even called? It's like a lipstick, lip gloss type of thing in the shade Rich Honey. Look like, look at the gloss that it gives. That is like lipstick, but it has like a gloss to it. It is super cute, super, super, super cute. It gives like that glossy, that is super cute. I just love it. I was gonna add this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee, but I honestly think this is fine. This is fine, I'm loving the look. This is the final product. Let me get my hair together and I'll be right back. 